Welcome to Winging It. We are playing Gloomhaven Digital. This is take number three for the Frozen Hollow. I've never actually struggled with this one so much before. Um, I mean, I think I've played it a couple times, like back in the day and uh, recently played it, but uh, I have been struggling with it. Uh, I don't know if uh, my strategy has been poor or what. I, you know, I guess I don't really have a good way of dealing with um, the... Uh, that uh, that one spirit at the beginning that has the double shield and maybe I need is there any kind of gear I could pick up that uh, from the merchant let me think about this that would give me pierce we have the piercing bow but we don't have enough money for it so yeah because that would be really great I don't think there's anything else that allows me to ignore pierce and she doesn't have any abilities that are piercing right I mean, we have this trickster's reversal, but it would cost me to burn something right on the top. So, all right, um, we're going to what we're going to do actually is we're going to go to the Temple of the Great Oak, and we're going to donate to yeah, and she'll get two crits in her deck, and we're going to do the same thing with the Mind Thief. So those crits will help balance the bags quite a bit. So uh, let's go give this a try. Take number three. An Let's get might... through all this. You see a lone wagon off to the side of the road up ahead. You approach cautiously. As you near, a jovial man with a wide hat waves at you. Oh, there. I don't suppose you have any expertise in fixing a broken axle. The road wasn't even that bumpy, and then bam, the man claps his hands together. Just splits in half. I have all these goods goods up uh, north in two days, and I'm just a loss about how to get myself out of this pickle. Uh, we're not going to take up the man's goods, so we're going to attempt to help him. You have to agree to help the man, but quickly realize you don't know what you are doing. The man thanks you anyway, and you move on. Because despite being rogues, we're not very... Uh, we don't like to steal from people. The map is. Oh, let's see what we got for our battle goals. Use no items. That's not going to happen. Okay. We'll choose the... Get healed up. Okay, kill a three or fewer. No. Cause a trap to be sprung or disarmed. Yeah, we can do that. There's a trap in that last room. But honestly, I don't care about the perks. I'm not even going to try to think about the perks. I'm just going to try to beat the scenario. All right, I do think starting over here was pretty good for me. Uh, starting back here was pretty good for me. Uh, so going slow, we don't need the flint lock, and we will go ahead and just use the swift bow. And yeah, that's good. We're not starting with two damage this time, which is nice. Uh, and we did the uh, what? The submissive affliction to have them attack each other, and we'll get the mind's weakness action going. So. See, it's just gonna heal her. Oh, ouch. Did, is this the one where they got the bonus? Okay. I didn't actually pay attention, but I probably should have. Okay. Uh, so let's have this one attack this one on the off chance that uh, it does a lot of damage to it, and we could just maybe kill it. Oops, I did it the wrong way. Oh well. Well, that was a disappointing. Alright, we'll do this and we will uh, poison dagger. Oh man, we almost killed it. Alright, so. Do we want to heal up? We can go fast enough to heal at the beginning of next round, so we won't burn it yet. Heal self, attack fire range. Ugh, the thing is so nasty. Alright, so we're going to... What are our other things? We have... Let's get over here. Okay, let's go 
fast. No, we do not want to cancel the mud's weakness. So we will heal ourselves with the empathetic assault. And then we will... Scurry. We will use the Thief's Snack and the Flanking Strike. The Flanking Strike will kill this guy, should knock him out pretty quickly. And then the Thief's Snack will use against this guy. And then my Thief will go up and try to kill it, and we'll see how we are. Should be doing pretty well. Oh man, they're going to do a lot of attacks here. Oh, a lot of one point attacks. What's this going to do? Move four, attack three. Oh man, that's going to hurt so hard. Okay, we're not going to use our eagle eye goggles because we're going to save it for the uh, living spirit, I guess. I don't know what we're going to hit it with. It might be worth just backstabbing it right away. Poison this. Oh, man. I wish I'd use the eagle eye goggles. Okay. Uh, I think we just need to hide now so that this thing doesn't come and clobber us. hate to burn my things so quickly, but it's probably worth it. Okay. Oh, I didn't need to use a scurry. Ah, oh, because I had the move on the heel. That was a really that was a big mistake. Okay, these guys are gonna do what? They're gonna attack one. Okay, actually, let's take advantage of the scurry then. We'll move here. Then we will attack. And then we'll move back and heal. And that way they don't get the attacks on before they would move. So. We'll heal up. She's going to... Uh, they're going to... Yeah. I'll get two one damage attacks. That's not too bad. Oh, I forgot about that. I was actually thinking that I would... Uh, gosh. I was going to uh, disappear. That's what I was going to do. Anyway, but I didn't. Burning a car is no car is no good. Okay, so we could just walk up and backstab, and she's done. And then I know. Let's see, is there another? Is there another car that could do that much damage? There's not really. Yep, we're just gonna walk up and backstab her and. Let's try to do what we can. Okay. So perverse edge and fearsome blade, be pretty good. And then a pot. Yeah. poison her and then we're going to backstab burning a card on our terms okay we'll attack this one 
gets done. Then we will hit this one and hopefully just push it away. Let's see what it's going to do. Move four. You know, I'm actually not. Uh, yeah, we want to push it away because of the retaliate. And then we'll heal. Let's see, this one guy's gonna attack for four. And probably fade it. I'm just gonna disappear. Oh, wow. Okay. I forgot about that, what happened. All right. So we need to run away quickly. The mine thief. We'll move up quickly and whack this one. You know what? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We'll, uh. Oh, we can't do that now. Alright. Yeah, we'll just shoot one and then go. And then just start hiding. <laughs> See if we can kill this one. Great. And then we can long rest. Alright, let's see what she can do. It's gonna move to. So we can attack with the poison. We'll only take attack one if we use these guys. Now we might as well attack three and then move away, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 that's the wrong. That's the wrong one. So we might as well, yeah, do the range attack and then just take the one attack. Let's split these guys up at least. Oh, that was my, uh, my, one of my blessed crits. special mixture and we'll go well no let's see what is my mind thief doing she's just long resting we'll click off the mind's weakness and it shall long rest all right but I think we just want to attack this one and then move I don't need this in general. Oh, they're going to move four and muddle. It's not a big deal. All right. One, two, 
two, three, four in the muddle. I just so I can just move two. It'll be okay. Fridge operation. That's what I was looking for. I was like, where is it? Alright, so. It's hard. They're also good. I'm going to burn the perverse edge, actually, only because they keep, like, eating my frost stuff and healing themselves. Be ready to move. I don't know if we'd have to get pretty lucky here. And throwing knives and then do a big move. We can actually open the door, even. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Let's see, if we, we can move up here and shoot with the uh, hostile takeover. That's a good bottom, that's, that's the bottom, that's the top move bottom that we don't need is this one for now yep and then we can go one two three four and then shoot with hostile takeover that's great oh except that he's moving first ah okay one two three four one, two, three, four. Okay, we can still do it. All right, good. Both have both of their. I, I know that I used one of the crits of the scoundrel. Yeah, she is one of her bless, but okay. And I can't, uh, can't do the loot. Okay, so we can special mixture, and then. Just kind of move in and open. It would be nice, actually, though. To move in and take a shot and then back back out. Can we do that? Sure, with the special mixture we can. We can move one, two. No, we can't back back out if we do that. Mm. Well, either way, that's what I'm going to do. Let's see what the mind thief is going to do. Probably into the night and then just kind of move. Oh, yeah, empathetic, empathetic salt. Yeah. Oh, wait. Let's see, one, two. Doesn't matter, but we'll loot here. We're going to move. Oh, yeah. And then we'll heal. I think we want to just heal and bring them back in here. So, 
So we'll just, oh wait, we don't have our, I think we don't open the door yet then. But we'll walk over this to get the gold. <laughs> I thought I had my boots. Okay, we'll just do a long rest. Not sure how I feel about how the scenario is going. Burning that uh, that card really early. Yeah, but yeah, burning two cards really early kind of kind of hurts, but let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just scurry. Now we're gonna move up. And engage the uh, the mind's weakness. Yeah. And then move should move to. We don't need the flanking strike. Or maybe we don't need the venom shiv. Do we need to worry more about going fast or going slow? We're going to burn this one. Alright, so ideally we'd want to scurry and then submit to affliction slow. So maybe we go fast. Walk in, swift bow. Slower, okay. That's fine. So we'll scurry in and then hopefully use some missive affliction. One, two, three. Oh, they're not near each other. Ah. Uh. What are these guys going to do? They're going to shield and move four. Not much. This guy's going to move two. One, two, attack three. Two, three. Yeah, okay. So we can just keep moving up. Oh, we can't keep moving up. But we can move up with this one. Whoa. Oh yeah, they don't attack. Okay, what is her next turn? Throwing knives with advantage, probably. And what is the mind thieves next turn? Yeah, it's whatever. One damage, great. And then we'll just move right here. We'll get range for throwing knives. Okay, we're gonna short rest. Yeah, that's fine. So ideally we want to go first with that. And 
maybe we can run up and poison one with the, with the mind thief. These guys like a retaliate. Okay, they retaliate two. So we can pierce and blade one of them. And we don't have a bottom attack, so we'll just go invisible. Yeah. That seems okay. Okay, they're going to immobilize. They're going to heal if we use Great Frost. Now the Holy Spirit's going to move to attack two at range three. We can probably fade that anyway. We'll give ourselves advantage on this. in this guy. Let's see if we we might be able to kill that guy. Save it for someone we don't think we can't kill. And we'll poison this one. Okay, or we'll just kill it. Okay, we have an option for a stamina potion. What would we want? Uh, that fierce blade again? Probably. See what else do we have? The, we can probably use the fridge up to kill that one. We have good stuff here, but we could get back into the night again. That's probably what I want. Move up here, attack this one hard with frigid apparition, and then just deal with whatever's coming to me. Oh, submissive affliction, actually. Yeah, we'll have this attack that. And then we'll just use the the big attack to get this guy. But yeah, if he hits him, then he'll hit him back and at least do one damage through the shields. Okay, cool. And we're just going to go fast. I don't even know. Oh, that Frost Demon is going to do a lot. Maybe we'll get lucky. Nope. That's the opposite of being lucky. We'll heal up. And we can't move. What's this she gonna do? Yeah, pulling her does nothing. So we'll just skip. Ah. 
Oh. Oh. We don't need the smoke bomb. I guess we don't need the venom shoe. Well, that was nice. Some lucky crits, I guess. Okay, we got a long rest, I guess. Or do we... Sh yeah, I think so. Let's see what the... We're just going to try to whack this one as hard as we can. Oh, it's going to heal self. Okay, so we don't need to do any damage to it. Excellent. Okay. I think we get rid of the special mixture. We're again going to get into the same situation where the Mind Thief is going to have to walk in and solo that entire last room. <laughs> All right. So she is going to swift bow this guy. She could flintlock him. But what's the bottom? What was our bottom? Oh, we can actually move. Nice. Okay, so we'll go fast. So we want to get rid of the mind's weakness. And do, do we want to long rest? What's the benefits of a long rest? Uh, I think we want a short rest and just be ready to kill stuff. Okay. We want to go after 10. We want to keep the scurry. Yeah, pure some blood and then... We don't need this. Oh wait, no, no, we'll hit with a uh, mind sweetness. And then the bottom, we're just gonna move. We wanna go faster than that. Fast enough. Okay. Fourteen. All right. Here we go. We have shield to move four. Okay. He's not gonna actually do need damage at all. All right. So we're going to attack. We're gonna use the goggles. That is pretty good. Maybe we'll get lucky here. Excellent. Okay. 
all that beautiful gold and oh we can't actually get it <laughs> and we could get it if we had hold on to that one uh, oh, one card all right long rest I wonder if we could I don't think we can make it long enough to get in there and use the flint lock but maybe we can all right meanwhile scurry yeah I think we're in the same situation as we were last time yeah, we are. It doesn't actually matter what we do. She's just going to exhaust, so. Okay, we'll move up and be ready to go. So we might as well just get all this gold. Pay for our next trip through here. Let's see, we've got. Oh yeah, she's just. We'll just short rest and exhaust. Yeah. All right, the mind thief. We've got one. How many cards at one? Three, four, five. Might as well long rest. All right, which one can we burn? We've got this. We definitely want the scary. The, yeah, probably the frigid operation. All right, so we scurry in. And then we'd use the submissive affliction to make somebody attack somebody else. And then we're going to fearsome blade into the night and then take another long rest. That is our plan. Move five. Oh, no, attack three. Okay. Well, we can probably handle that. I wonder if it's worth getting a poison on one of these guys. Okay, yeah, next turn we could actually push this, uh, or even better though would be to push this guy through a trap. Oh, it's just a stun, it's not a, it's not a damage trap. Okay. Actually, oh man, I should have had these guys attack him because he would just instant kill them. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We are going to restart this because I'm realizing a second block before I've even done this. Uh, so we're doing scurry and submissive affliction. Okay, yeah, 
of scurry and some missile of affliction. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't think we can win this, but we can at least try. Then we'll attack this. If you can tell he's three, yeah. And then we will use this. Oh, it's a tech, yeah, yeah. No, we want this one. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. Unfortunately, I have to burn a card. Probably into the night. Yeah, this is the last round, so we can't win. But it's kind of fun to try. Alright. This is where I guess we should just go for all the stuff. All the... Yeah, we'll just go for all the VP. We could go for this chest, but we can't make it through. Oh, we won't get the gold if we die, so we can just go kill this one. <laughs> Used our crit. Down to one enemy. All right. Well, at least we'll get to upgrade. We'll be ready to go. Uh, apologies for the multiple failures. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we... Okay, yeah. So we can upgrade her. Let's see what we've got here. Um... We'll do the level up. Okay, hidden daggers and an invisibility is good. These are attack. Oh, it's a burn. Yeah, that's not that great. Yeah. Yeah, this one is good. A duelist advance. Uh, and we can have plus two to our attacks. So, yeah, we'll t we're just going to take the duelist advance. And what we're going to get rid of instead of that. Is it time to get rid of Smoke Bomb? No. Well, we probably don't need it for this scenario. Okay, and then for perks, we're gonna get rid of the negative two perk, the negative two. Yeah, and this should definitely, uh, I don't know if we just made the scenario harder by leveling up, that's the thing, so. All right, yeah, we're going to uh, we're gonna let's do the city encounter and then we'll donate and then I'm gonna I'm gonna finish. I'll uh, record the rest of the the next scenario later. Let's do the city encounter. Okay, you hear screams from the south as you approach the docks. See a group of women running toward you in panic. An invasion! They yell as they race by you, nearly knocking you over. You hurry to the docks to find a crowd of workers on edge, armed with makeshift weapons and circulating one particular. T particular pier. Standing at the far end of the wooden plank is a group of lurkers, terrifying crab-like monsters as big as Inox and equally ferocious. Except these lurkers don't appear to be hostile. They are simply standing on the dock, clacking their claws in a strange rhythm. Raise arms and fight the lurkers back to sea. Approach lurkers cautiously in a co attempt to communicate them. Uh, do we have anything that can communicate with them? I don't know. 
The crowd parts as you move toward the dock with both confidence and care. The lurkers notice your approach and continue to clack at your, uh, in your direction. You call out to them and ask why they are here, but all you get in response is a change in the tempo of their clacking. When you express confusion, they clack again in frustration and scuttle back to the ocean. The crowd is very impressed that you managed to ward off the creatures without using force. Plus it's your reputation. That is great. Alright, so one of the pieces of gear we could get is the for the scoundrel is the heater shield. Oh, but we can't afford it. Yeah, I wish I had more gold. I wish I could trade gold between them. Um, is there anything this that we would want? I mean, the piercing bow would be good, but we don't have like really good uh, ranged attacks. Otherwise, we'd use it. But yeah, what I, the thing I'm dealing with is all those shields. The shields and retaliates this is a really tough scenario for them. So. Yeah, I don't see what else. Hmm. No, I think we've got... Oh, but we can get another small item. Uh, which will be... Do we want to get a power potion or a stamina potion? Hmm. Stamina potions are good. We'll just grab one. It means we can't donate to the temple, but it's fine. Alright, and then so before I forget, we're going to go ahead and uh, donate. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There we go. All right, cool. She, and she can't afford it. All right. Well, whoops. No, we don't want to return to the main menu. All right, that's uh, that's enough for this session. Uh, I'm going to end it here. Uh, hopefully next time we'll overcome this quest. I did not expect to have so much difficulty with it. I will see you next time on Winging It.